Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my Robin Hood portfolio. Another good day today in the green, up about $16. Uh, to be honest, uh, overall today I was actually down 40 cents, but I have a, I had a dividend payment come through today. Uh, one of my bond funds, this is part of my bond fund dividend capturing strategy. So this actually paid out today. Um, as you guys know, I've been buying and selling in a cyclical fashion four different bond funds that have ex-dividend dates um, or uh, dates at which I would be qualified for the dividend that are scattered throughout the month. So one at the beginning of the month, a couple during the month, and one at the end of the month. Um, and the whole idea is to make about $10 per trade, so $40 overall with about $3,300 invested. That represent about a 12% return. Uh, so if I can do that in a consistent fashion, um, very good return on my money and uh, kind of validates my uh, my dividend capturing strategy. Again, there's some tax consequences for doing this, but again, uh, the whole idea I'm having this uh, Robinhood account open is to have a little bit of fun with my my money rather than sticking it into ETFs and mutual funds that uh, I essentially check once or twice a year. Uh, I made a little bit of a mistake. I should have sold this uh, when it got up to 28.72. That would have represented about a six dollar loss, but with that. 15, almost $16 payment, that would have made my $10, and then I could have went ahead and uh, bought my next bond fund in series here. But uh, nevertheless, uh, I'm going to hold on to that and wait until it gets up uh, at least to uh, 28.70 or so. Uh, but again, a little bit in the green. Today, what I want to talk about uh, is further diversifying my portfolio. As you know, I'm still working on adding stocks. A lot of these stocks have been suggested by you guys. I definitely appreciate that. Uh, but what I'd like to do is look at a few funds that I uh, researched here. I'd kind of like to get into uh, the aerospace and defense uh, stocks, high dividend yielding stocks again, um, to further diversify my portfolio. So I picked out five here. We'll kind of go through these and kind of see what you guys think. Uh, the one that I'm thinking about buying will be at the end. Uh, uh, but yeah, let's just kind of go through and uh, go through the stocks I picked out. So the first one is the HII, uh, Huntington Ingalls here. Um, and all these... Uh, stocks like i said are in the aerospace and defense industry this particular uh, stock uh, a little bit unique uh, with regards to uh, uh, the five i have here this is a uh, nuclear non-nuclear ships uh, u.s navy coast guard a little bit of a dividend in there 1.2 it's performed okay over the last year and five years um, so this would be one i'd be taking a look at again this is uh, to further diversify my portfolio. I have zero aerospace and or defense stocks right now. So out of these five, I'd like to pick one. This is the first one I'm taking a look at. The second stock goes by the symbol ESLT. There we go, Elbit Systems on the top here. And this is more of a computer uh, a software um, and systems uh, rather than kind of a whole uh, a ship or anything like that uh, vehicle uh, system. 1.6 dividend yield. Uh, it's performed okay over the last year and five years. Uh, so again, this would be another aerospace or defensive stock I'd be adding uh, to further diversify my portfolio. Uh, the third one goes by the ticker symbol of CW. This is Curtis Wright. Um, very good stock. Uh, not a very good dividend yield, to be quite honest. Uh, uh, as you can see on the bottom there, diversified multinational provider. Again, this is like that last stock, uh, sort of uh, function products, uh, services, uh, computer software. So not necessarily a, a system in itself, a ship or vehicle, but uh, more of some of the components that would go into those particular products. So that's an okay stock. I'm kind of leaning against this just because the dividend yield is not there. Um, the third, or actually the fourth stock goes by the ticker symbol RTN. Raytheon up top there. Uh, so this is a very good stock. Uh, this and the next one I think are the two I'll be really considering strongly to get in and buy. Uh, this, again, like the other two stocks, engineering, technology, government, and commercial use, uh, especially in the areas of defense, government, electronics, information technology. So again, this is some of the uh, 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 hardware and or software that would be going into uh, uh, bigger systems. So. Great dividend yield here, 2.1%. Uh, and it's performed okay over the last year and five years. Actually, very, very good over the last five years. And the last stock, uh, actually had put a limit buy-in for this stock prior. This goes by the ticker symbol LMT. 
Lockheed Martin. I almost picked this up uh, a month ago. Uh, it's a nice stock. It's been trending down a li little bit over the last month or so. Over the last five years, it's performed well, uh, like the other stocks. It's got a great dividend yield, 2.7. And again, this is a very large uh, uh, company, uh, large cap company. And this is a developer of actual systems, airplanes, and other uh, products, uh, the complete package. Uh, they are a very good company. Uh, like I said, large cap company, 73 billion for market cap, great dividend yield. Um, and this is a company that I don't think is going to be dissolving, uh, like some of those smaller companies that I mentioned. This is uh, definitely an aristocrat, dividend, dividend aristocrat as well. This has had a consistent dividend over the last 20 years or so. So I think I'm seriously considering buying this one. But uh, yeah, as always in all my videos, let me know what uh, you guys think out of the, uh, the five stocks here uh, and what uh, you think would be best to add to my portfolio. So again, another good day of trading. Um, really supported by that dividend payment of my bond dividend capturing strategy. Uh, but again, uh, I just want to say, you know, you guys are really helping me out a lot. If you like the video, go ahead and subscribe, leave me a thumbs up, you know, leave me a couple comments. I definitely love the interaction with you guys. If you have any great stock picks, let me know as well. Uh, as I mentioned every video, the only reason I'm doing this is because it's fun and I want some input. I'm a new investor and uh, any advice moving forward would be greatly appreciated. So again, give me a thumbs up, give me a few comments, uh, subscribe if you like the video, and we'll see you guys next time.